We're here today with uh, Asmus Toys Boromir six scale figure. Let me tell you, they really stepped up to the plate with this figure. Um, lots of really awesome accessories and uh, paint job, costume, everything. They did a really, really awesome job. Uh, Everything, I mean, you can see underneath his uh, little red gambeson that he's got his chain mail, he's got his gauntlets. Um, all of his weapons are uh, back to metal, uh, as well as his buckles on his shield. Um, he's got his the Horn of Gondor, as well as the Elven Cloak. Um, and they did two different versions of this one. There was the rooted hair, and then they did a sculpted hair. I think the difference was like $15. And rooted um, was more expensive. Yep, rooted was uh, I think it was like two twenty, okay. and then the regular was two hundred five. Um, which yeah, their prices are going up a little bit, but they're definitely getting better at uh, the products that they're making and the amount of accessories that they're coming with. Um, for sure, is it's well worth the money. Um, so like I said, this figure comes with his shield, the horn of Gondor. He also comes with. Uh, Little, little throwing knife that he has uh, at the end of the fellowship. Um, I think he throws it at an Urukai. It's like in the throat. Uh, he's got his sword, and then he comes with I think a total of eight more hands. Lost it. We lost a couple hands. Uh, I think it's eight more hands that he comes with. So we're at eight. Eight more hands, uh, four gloved, four ungloved, uh, a couple relaxed, a couple weapon hands. Um, and he also comes with his big Gondorian cape that he wears uh, in the beginning when they ride into Rohan. And I, actually, I think he wears it all the way up until um, they get into the Mines of Moria. Yeah, since he's wearing it in the snowy part. Yeah, for sure. But uh, And the detail on this is... I don't even know. <laughs> That's really cool. I don't know how they did it. Uh, same thing, this is one of the first ones that they put the uh, the wireframe hood into, uh, which is a, a really cool feature. It just kind of makes the cloak rest right. Um, it doesn't look bulky on him, uh, especially uh, these guys being a little bit bigger than the hobbits. It uh, gives the fabric a little more weight to lay the right way. Um, but uh, these guys did a really good job. They really stepped up with this guy. Um, I mean, you can see the the mud on his his uh, tunic. Tunic. Yep. Even to the like on his boots. Yeah. There's even the mud splatter. Weathering. Uh, weathering on there. Um, he's definitely got probably one of the best head sculpts that they've done so far. Um. Yeah. I mean, all around, really cool figure. Um, and just the little things that stand out with these guys, like the amount of detail on his belt. The belt work, his buckles, oh, yeah. the, belt uh, is designed. Yep. the weathering on his sheath, the metal buckles, the horn of Gondor is perfect. Um, I wish that they would have done like a, a split horn for like a pre-order bonus. Um, I don't think he had a pre-order bonus. Um, this thing comes with him normally? I believe so. I think okay. so. Um, shield is really cool. Like I said, it's got uh, all the metal buckles, the same design, like leather patchwork that they had on. I'm um, assuming you can toss it over his shoulder with that. Yep. Buckle on there. Just hang it, uh, hang it right up there, and have it rest on his shoulder. You could have him, uh, have him holding it if you wanted to. <laughs> Just getting, getting ready to walk into battle, because everybody knows not to mess with Boromir. <clears throat> Except alerts, he just shot him with an arrow. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, really cool figure. Um, I guess my one gripe with it is just how hard it is to maintain uh, keeping his hair down. But there's a couple different products that I've read about online, um, being able to kind of wax it down and hold it. Um, I just felt like the, the, the sculpted hair, just something didn't look right about it. I'm. If you're going to buy this, I would say pay the extra fifteen twenty dollars and get the rooted hair because the the sculpt itself looks much better um 
Posability, this guy is definitely one of the more posable figures. And we'll measure him. We will measure him. So you know how tall he is. I don't know what you're getting into here. He's about 11 and 3 quarter inches. <clears throat> a little shorter of a guy. And I was going to do a pro and con on this on this guy, but I, I don't have anything bad to say about him, aside from... He's all pro. His, his hair being a little uh, iffy sometimes. Metal store. Uh, his hair is a little iffy sometimes, but that's nothing that I'm gonna dock for this figure. Um, he's gorgeous. Okay. But uh, yeah, posability. He's uh, he's ready for flight. And uh, I think he has a yeah. He's got a waist, mm -hmm. and he's got his hips, his knees. Uh, Got a, you can turn his, well, same thing with the hobbits, like the thighs up here yeah, and down by, the, down by the boots. Um, and then he's just a separate head sculpt, so he is detachable from the neck. Um, he's got elbow, the wrist joint, and yep, you got a little bit of rotation. I guess that's the one thing that probably restrict him would be his, uh, his waist movement. He's not going to be doing any 900s or anything like that, but all around, awesome looking figure. Um, we'll do some close-up shots, show you guys all the accessories and everything like that. We'll show you the detailing that they did on his, uh, his costume. Just everything that really makes this figure stand out and shine. They did not do a collector card. Well, I didn't get a collector card on this one. Maybe they forgot about me. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, this is the most recent one. Maybe they stopped doing them. Maybe, because I, uh, I don't know. I wonder if they just got we'll find to... find out when Gimli comes. It's looking at articulation. Alright. He's awesome. Pick him up if you can find him. If you like Lord of the Rings. Thanks for watching. If you like Lord of the Rings, otherwise if you like us, hit that like, subscribe, and uh, I'm sure we'll have more Asmus, more Hot Toys, some Sideshow coming up. We're always going to have new stuff. It never ends. So you just sit and watch.